What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 Minds video. And guys, today, we got some market tips for you guys. Sunday is the best day to sell cards, so we're going to get into it. Going to go over pricing and whatnot. So yeah, before we get into it, make sure to smash that like button. And obviously, follow my Twitter for MT giveaways. Also on Twitter, I'm selling and buying MT. So make sure to hit me up. We have cheap, cheap prices. And yeah, we are the plug. So before we get into it, make sure to smash that like button. The sub would be greatly appreciated. We're getting closer and closer to 8K. We're on the road to 10K. So hopefully, we do get there. And yeah, let's get into it. So I actually have a lot of cards to highlight. Um, this video, honestly, if you're going to listen in, you're going to you're gonna really like these tips. So... I'm going to start off with one thing and shout out to one of my subs because I forgot who said it, but he actually kind of put some lights into my in, into me. Like I saw what he was seeing and he makes sense. So first off, I'm going to be honest. If you have cards like Ben Simmons and KD Opal, you should probably sell them. You know why? Because they're actually so expensive. Um, Look at this, bro. There's barely any of them on the market, number one. So, today, Sunday, I would recommend selling every card you have. Don't ask me, should I sell this card? Blah, 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 blah. Sell every card you have if you want to make MT. It's simple, simple, simple. So, this Ben Simmons is selling for a 522 not Evo with 23 minutes left. Now, I bought my Evo on a snipe, I guess, for 480. That's a solid price. Um, His fully Evo is at 600K with 40 minutes left, bro. 600k or 40 minutes left. You know what's gonna come out soon? I can bet you prime super packs. When prime super packs come out, these KDs, these Simmons are gonna drop a lot. If you want when those super packs come out, it's a good time to repick these guys up. So, in my opinion, personally, I'm not selling because I'm trying to go 12 and 0. I'm currently 5 and 0. Um, I went 8 and 1, I went 9 and 0, I lost at 9 and 0, I went 10 and 0, lost at 10 and 0. It's been a rough couple days, but what are we gonna do? It's 2K. It's, it's a hard game. But, yo, these two cards, 100%, definitely look at. These are the main cards. Big O. Big O is going to be 150K soon. You got to sell him. He's not that good. He's not going to be able. He's not comparable to Giannis and Ben Simmons. So, definitely sell those. Some other cards I've been looking at. First off, all your Ami investments, they got to go. They are up big time, big time, big time. Besides, obviously, Marley because he just dropped. But people like Jahil Okafor, Eric Paschal, if you really invested in those, you're going to dub out. Not only that, bro, Marvin Bagley. I know one of my subs, Scotty Gill, shout out to you. Um, he actually invested in a ton of Bagleys because I was using his account. And I saw his auctions and I was like, holy crap, he invested in tons of Bagleys. They're going for around 7K. He probably got them for like 2 to 3K. So looks like the Amethysts are really good investments sometimes. Like Dan Marley is going to be cool. I call him Dan Marjorell, but it's not even close. But, yo, you know what I'm saying? The Dino Rogers. If you got the Dino Rogers for around 25K, DBG dropped the video. I dropped the video. YVC dropped the video. HGB dropped the video. And his price went up to, like, 15, 20K more. So, like I said, bro, should be, uh, Sharif went up. It, it's pretty much everything's up right now. And you should just sell, obviously, Prime. Like, Tracy McGrady Pink Diamond. Honestly, he's not outdated, in my opinion. But I'm going to say he's so expensive, bro. I don't understand how. Maybe because he's still ninety nine ninety nine, which is still crazy, but you got to realize, bro, I just, I don't know. I really don't know. This Tracy McGrady, in my opinion, is honestly just as good as the Opal. He might only have 18 hauls, bro, but he's actually insane. He He's a sick card. It's only a matter of time before he drops, though. If the Opal's realistically this expensive still, dude, this is going to be the best shooting guard in the game. I don't think any other card is going to beat it. I've been trying to find a replacement, to be honest. RJ Barrett and Levine have been my guys to replace this Tracy McGrady. I can get them, no problem. 
But yo, if you're really running Tracy McGrady, you should probably just sell him. Like he's gonna like he was like 400k when he first came out. He's at 600 plus k. Honestly, especially if you have shoes and contracts, you could sell him for seven. This card's the most expensive card in the game. And in my opinion, I don't think he's worth it. Because uh, you see 98 threes, whatever. Like, dude, this Luka Doncic have his price. Levine, bro, token market, bro. This card is disgusting. He's one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. And RJ Barrett's disgusting, too. These are token cards, bro. I don't know if it's worth holding on to your T-Max for much longer. In my opinion, I'll get rid of it. Um, Trey Young, if you guys do know, is a buyout. If you have him, I would recommend selling him. Because you know what? There's so many up there for 100 k or less. It really doesn't look it look, doesn't look promising for the Opal Filter. It looks like he will stay at that price. Cause yeah, there it goes, man. The Opal Filter has been destroyed by Trey Young. 2K obviously made the odds a lot easier to pull Trey Young. So yeah, unfortunately, no more Opal Filter. He's up to down to 90k and he'll stay there for a while. There's just too many under the buyout. 2K knew what they were doing. It's kind of annoying. It kind of got it gets me really pissed off. But you know what are we gonna do? Also. Let me think. We got we got a lot of cards that I've been looking at. D Wade went up 20k. I sold him for 100k about five days ago. Um, Dino Raja. Let's look at Dino Raja because honestly, I got him for 20k and I also got him for 25k when he first dropped. I know every time cards drop, they're, they're, they hit that bottom price and then they rise like crazy. I got him at his bottom price. I don't know why I can't speak. This card is a demon, bro. He's really good. He's like Blake. He's Giannis at center. Um, 38K. I got him for 20 and 25. So if you want, this night filter is going to be money. It's going to be really money. You could probably pick up a couple Dinos for the low low. And honestly, I definitely recommend you guys definitely try it out. All I know right now is that Sunday prices are down. I mean, prices are up a lot. And not only that. Um, if you guys want to buy a team, oh, there we go. Give me that. How did I, why, you know what I'm saying, bro? Right there, I can make a solid 6K like that. So there's my proof, bro. Um, so pretty much what I'm trying to say, every, uh, Sunday prices go up like crazy, crazy. Like, I mean, crazy. All I'm going to say is that if you constantly do, you're going to make a lot of MT. And also I've noticed one thing. Lately, I've been playing. LeBron's up a lot, too. You should sell him because he is not that good. I'm not going to lie. This card gets cooked by anybody. I'm telling you. But, yo, I've noticed one thing. If you want to sell your cars during the day and re-pick them up at, like, I would say 1 a.m. in the morning, it's a money idea. I don't know why. I mean, it makes sense. But prices are so, so cheap in the middle of in the morning like i'm talking about 4 a.m in the morning 1 a.m in the morning i was looking last night dude jamal crawford opal was selling for 130 he's probably at selling for 180 i sold my own for one 201 dude i couldn't believe it so that's another tip to you guys honestly every day in and out i know there's whole quarantine thing right now but if you could do this every day there's a new mt method that i just discovered and if you buy a whole team and resell it every day, you're going to make a lot of MT. So here's some tips. So hmm. let's say you have a team that's worth 500K. It's not that much. It's pretty good. So you have a ton of big diamonds and diamonds. They're, they're pretty good. So during the day on a Sunday or whatever day, it depends on the day, actually. I would say Sunday, Saturday, days that content don't drop. So if you play 2K all day like I do, um, pretty much... If you sell your cards, like let's say right now, midday, you sell your cards now, you could literally buy your cards for like 30% cheaper if you wait till like 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, last night, I was actually freaking out. Um, first of all, there's not a lot of competition on the market, so you could snipe better earlier in the morning. And yeah, there's just a lot. I mean, there's just, you could literally buy your team back for so much cheaper. I just want to tell you that. Last night, Luca was going for like 270. Yeah, he's only 300K right now. But, bro, he was a lot cheaper. Kareem was selling for 320 last night, bro. 320 He's probably got bidded. Vince Carter was selling for 180 I, I couldn't even believe my eyes. I guess it's just, I don't know if I'm going crazy, but, yeah. That's how it was on Xbox. I don't know if it's different for PS4, but, yeah. That's all I got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Just please sell your cards. Please listen to these tips. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.